What does that mean? It means that some of these woke investors out there, which by the way, there are a lot of, in fact, the biggest one of all happens to be BlackRock, which is the king of ESG, environmental social governance. I hope you know what that is, but if you don't, listen up. It is actually this whole system to put in place a series of values that, well, BlackRock thinks every company should have. And so they figure, you know, hey, if government can't get it done, we'll use the capital markets to make sure that we get our policy that we want through. (laughs) So it's like they're almost more powerful in a way than government. It's a backdoor you see entry into, frankly, communism. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it when you have a group of people that are very close, by the way, to the Democrats and to this administration, when you have a group of people deciding what is something that you should invest in or not, and they're controlling so much money. It's the world's biggest asset manager. Think about that. BlackRock has something like the latest numbers I've seen, and actually maybe their numbers have gone down because some of their green energy things are not quite working out like they thought they would in the market, but they had somewhere around 15 or $14 trillion under Uh, management. So that's like a lot of money, right? If you think about the size of US GDP being somewhere around 21 trillion, like BlackRock's a big deal. They're more than half the size of the US economy that they are managing there. So they have a lot of power. They have a lot of influence. They're running every single retirement fund around the country. And so they get to decide where they're going to invest. And if you don't have the right CEI score, the right ESG score, then guess what? They're not going to put money into your company. So the result of all of this is that companies and management teams, instead of being focused on, hey, their customers, their sales, like the normal things that a company should be focused on, in recent years, very recent years, they become kind of obsessed with all this wokeness and all this political correctness. And it's not appropriate. It's not appropriate for a capitalist country to be so sidetracked by all that other stuff. The answer is you're supposed to make money for your shareholders. You have a fiduciary duty to make money for your shareholders. And if you're too focused on remaking America instead of actually selling your products, well, then we got a problem, right? We do, because, you know, at some point people want to retire and they're trusting BlackRock with their money and BlackRock is an investor. I mean, like, I'm very curious, like, would BlackRock say, okay, well, bud, we're going to give you a cash infusion because we feel for you in this case. I do think that the CEO is going to be in trouble and I think it's, it's to be expected.